Hi everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm on here for a brief moment. Um, I'm actually just letting the Holy Spirit flow and letting letting the Lord do what he does best. Uh, sorry, excuse the light and y'all, the light is like beaming on me right now. It's really beaming on me. Um, but I had kind of jotted down some notes but I'm really just gonna sit and take my time with this. Yeah, I'm gonna sit and take my time with this. Um, so I was, so as I was reading and I was studying the Word of God, um, I was studying the Book of Joshua, and I was actually reading from Joshua 24. Um, I had read verses 13 through 15, and then I had, oh, I actually read verses 13 through, um, I'm going to just say 13 through 24. And it was speaking about how the Lord gives his children land. Okay. So a lot of people desire to have land, desire to have houses, desire to live a nice life. Okay. There's nothing wrong with desiring to live a, a nice life. But it's written in the word of God that when you serve him, when you put him first, when you obey him, when you obey his word and obey his commandments, he will give you the desires of your heart. OK, like it's written in the word of God, like his word, the Lord, he doesn't lie. OK, so every word that is written, it shall come to pass. But um, a lot of people, they desire houses, they, de they desire cars, they desire, like, you know, to live a nice life. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but it is a certain way that we should be, you know, going about getting those things that we desire. So in scripture, um, in Matthew 6, verse 33, it says, Seek first ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. So there is nothing wrong with us having certain desires. There's nothing wrong with us wanting to live, you know, a certain type of lifestyle, a certain type of way, and enjoy ourselves. But it does say, to seek first ye the kingdom of God. So we need to be seeking the things of God. We need to be learning about God. We need to make sure that we root ourselves and plant ourselves firmly, um, you know, have a firm foundation, a solid foundation built on God. Um, so really, it's really, really important in this time that we are in and this season that we are in that we are including God in everything that we do. Even if it's just you walking to the park, taking a walk in the park, include God in that walk in the park. Like admire the nature and the things that he has built. Um, talk to him, you know, thank him for the day. Um, if it's, you know, if you're going to bed, just say, thank you, Lord, for rest. Like, rest is a gift. Everybody can't sleep at night. That's a gift that the Lord gives to his children, to his people. So even if it's just as far as you being able to lay down and sleep at night, like, you have something to thank the Lord for. You have something to uh, make sure you're including him in everything that you do. When you eat, okay, when you eat food, it's people in different places, maybe even near you, that's not eating, okay? They're not eating. They have nothing to eat, but you're able to eat. The Lord is making sure that you are eating. So you can just say, Lord, thank you for this food. Like, us just really getting into a posture and a position where we're including God in everything that we do. Even if you watching TV, like, Lord, thank you for this TV. Some people don't have TVs and that's kind of like very uh, lucrative, if that's the word, the right word. Um, but yes, yeah, just making sure that we're including God in everything that we do. And even I myself, like this is something that I 
also have to make sure that I'm doing. But on a daily basis, if you want to create great habits, if you want to really see the Lord manifest in your life and see like the, the real fruits of what the Lord can do in your life and how he can transform you, ask him, Lord, help me to include you in everything that I do. Okay. I don't want to live a life if it doesn't have you at the center of it. I don't want to live like that, like straight up. That's not a life that I want to live. So um, it's just important for us to actually ask him like, Lord, please help me to include you in everything that I do, okay? Um, and yeah, that the Holy Spirit is dropping that because I had had some notes written down about something else, but I had prayed um, and asked the Lord to, you know, what do you want me to say to your people? What do you want me to say to your children? Like, what is a message, Lord, that you want me to speak to them? Um, so, yes, it's very, very important for us to seek him, to seek him diligently, okay? That means to seek him all the time, to, you know, all the time, like, Lord, how can I include you in this way? When it comes to if you're a mom in relationship with your children, I know it can be hard raising children. I know, like, you know, it's not always the easiest walk in the park. But, Lord, how can I include you in my relationship with my children? Like, how can I do that? How can I teach them about you, about your about your word, about your goodness, about who you are? How can I do that? And you wait on the Lord to tell you the answer, okay? You wait for the Lord. Um, because those who wait for the Lord, they shall mount up and have wings like eagles. So even if the situation is difficult at the moment, even if the situation is complicated, when you sit back and you say, okay, Lord, I'm going to trust you in this. Okay, Lord, it might seem difficult. Okay, Lord, I don't know what the heck is going on right now but I'm going to sit back and I'm going to trust you in this do you know that he says you will mount up and have wings like eagles what does that mean like he will restore you he whatever was taken from you he will give it back to you times 10 whatever 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 was broken in your life he will he will he will put it all back together times a million so um, as we're praying and as we're asking the Lord for certain things, we also have to sit and learn how to be patient. That was something that I struggled with because when I prayed and talked to the Lord, I would just be like, okay, I would just be like very, very like, Lord, I ask you for this, like what's going on, what's going on type stuff. But um, learning that, you know, when, when we ask the Lord for something, sit back and wait. Like, he has this under control. Sit back. Don't be so, you know what I'm saying, so just ready to take charge and so feisty. Like, don't be like that, but just sit back and wait on him. He has everything under control, and he will come through for you. So trust in him trust in what he is doing and just be at a place of peace and a place of rest and he will come through for you he is coming through for you he's coming through for you right now through this video um so don't ignore it like when you watch videos either don't ignore that because that's the lord speaking to you because he speaks through people so don't ignore when you watch a video and it really just sits, you know, it's something about that video and you like, dang, like, I really understand what she's saying. I really am able to interpret that. Like, I really get what she's saying. Don't ignore that because that's the Lord speaking to you. So he may be speak. He, I'm not going to say he may be. If you found this video and you're watching it and you're continuing to watch it, the Lord is speaking to you, and he's telling you to do these certain things. Um, so, Lord, we are so honored to be in your presence. We are so grateful, 
We are so thankful for who you are, Father, and we just praise you and worship you and worship your name. Like as I'm praying, Father, allow your spirit to touch the people on the other side of the video. Allow your presence to come forth, Father. Allow them to be touched and to be pushed forward and to be pushed more into you and to give give them the, the desire to want to know more about you, to want to go further and deeper in their relationship with you, Father. Help them to turn away from things that don't serve who you are calling and have created them to be in this at this moment in their lives, Lord, pertaining to their destiny. And Lord, just allow them to experience your peace your mercy, your joy, your just everything that you are, Lord. Allow them to bask and to sit in that, Lord, as they're watching this video. And Lord, we just thank you, Holy Spirit. We just thank you. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your glory, Lord. And yes, Holy Spirit, we just thank you. Like the Holy Spirit is so, so present right now y'all y'all are able to feel him through this video so yes holy spirit you did that like you did that as you always do um it says delight yourself in the lord what scripture is that i may have to link it or i'll probably put it in the comments delight yourself in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart like delight yourself into in the lord put like surrender your yield yourself to him give yourself to him okay and he shall give you the desires of your heart so that is the message from for today um regarding the title i'm gonna let the lord lead me on the title of this but yes people of god pathfinders y'all are finding the path i'm proud of y'all i'm proud of everybody who is just you know striving and putting in that work to become more like god to really seek their transformation and to get their healing and everything that the lord has for you because it is time for that okay it's that time it's that season so yes 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 feel the peace through this video Feel it, feel it, receive it, receive what God wants to do in your life, receive it. Um, but yes, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you. And you guys, I will be back as the Lord leads me. Bye.